Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Exposed January 26, 2016, 1.28 a.m. Birmingham. Topic, some of the latest news events and visions and pictures. I wish I could show the pictures. Um, two volcanoes erupted in the Western Pacific, 3,000 miles apart. They're on the same line of of a uh, fire what do you call it the ring of fire the odd thing is both of them erupted at the very same moment exactly at the minute and that's odd uh, more sounds in the skies reported in every country including the united states and some of the last ones here in the United States sounds like uh, fireworks, loud explosions, like it's bigger than what you see in the grand finale of fireworks. And this had, has gone on several nights in a row about between 1 and 2 a.m. And they seem as if they're coming from Birmingham, Alabama. Um, also, volcanoes in Mexico, two, again, at once, in one area, belch skyward. One of them, UFOs, was flying around the top of it and entered. Winter storm, judgment, you know, you know what that is. And that's a, a, that's a selective judgment in my opinion, and um, California warning, tsunami may be soon, Germany, dozens of women raped, it's not only in Germany, there's about six countries over there, by Muslims, by fleeing Muslims, by those leaving where all the fighting is going on in Syria, and the reason they asked for it, just because they don't dress like Islamic-based Muslim women, then they're asking to be raped. Switzerland says Palestinians, to Palestinians, we will pay you to not attack this country. Interesting. Also, the United Nations in Switzerland, war on the way over debt defaults. And the description is in the entire Middle East and European world. United States, we will never pull out of debt, not as long as I live. My children, their children, their children, and going down the line. The good thing is we won't have to wait that long. Perfect cross forms in the sky, bright golden amid dark clouds, and this happened in Michigan. And, uh, and the pictures of that was just absolutely beautiful. It's a golden-looking cross against a dark, well, a dark sky. But keep in mind, Battle of Armageddon is not a battle for Israel against other countries. It's a battle between Satan and his and our God and his. It's a battle between good and evil. And uh, Skywatch prophecies in advance. That's one you can go look at, and that's very interesting. But so we ask, why was this beautiful, perfect cross in the sky setting right on the horizon to show up and um, or to show you that God is still in charge and he loves you. No fear is meant. And he's showing signs like this around the world. People are seeing like what appears to be angels. 
flying angels, angels riding horses, crosses in places. I mean, just perfect crosses. And uh, when the final battle comes, it will be in Israel, Mount Zion. And this is where Jesus will come back. His feet will touch the Mount of Olives. And instantly, the battle of Armageddon, the final war, the end war will be over. Pakistan government stormed a school. 30 dead. A chemistry teacher with one gun saved many lives before he was killed. And this was the Taliban. United States history teacher recruited terrorists for ISIS in his schoolroom. Palestinian leader praised Hitler. And this happened Friday. The only good news about terrorists is the Islamic State says they have to cut their pay by 50%. That means some of them may be laid off. <laughs> the United States attacked a compound where ISIS stashed their cash and ammo, and it was blown up along with hundreds of millions of dollars inside that compound just blown to dust. And this also happened last Friday. Um, watching, listening to, and reading Norm Prophecy should give you really bizarre or be ready for bizarre events. And the uh, path as far as your faith is concerned, according to author Joel Richardson's new book, When a Jew Rules the World, you're going to see a lot of things. Well, number one, you're going to see there people will get mad at the fact that a Jew will be in charge of anything. But they brought us the Bible intact. They brought us Christ. He is who he is. And God chose them because apparently no one else could do it. And the uh, United States military have chips to redirect brain waves into binary codes to connect to computers. And you won't have to have a computer in front of you to go to it. John Kerry's daughter, I said this and I'll say it again, Dr. Vanessa Bradford married an Iranian Dr. Brian Vela Mahad. And... Kerry was there. He should have excluded himself from any talks with Iran, 100%. He did not. It was a conflict of interest, but he carried out. And he's still there today, by the way, or still there Sunday. And uh, I haven't heard the full details, but more things happening between him and his buddies, Iranians, since his daughter's married one of them. And Last on this one, did you know that donkeys can see in the invisible world that we can't see? They can see what's behind that veil, that very thin veil that we can't see through. And proof of that is donkeys talk to angels. And um, even today, Sometimes, uh, most often, donkeys. I mean, I'm just not. I'm not kidding here. But then you see animals like cats. I mean, look like they're looking at something in the room and following it when there's nothing there. They see things we don't see. Animals see things we don't see. They feel things we don't know, and they know when to run. Something tells them to run. Like every time a tsunami hits, the cattle deer, anything, they head for the hills, always, and it's unknown why, but they know something we don't know. We got a real interesting coming up next. It's a short one, but it's a vision and a dream, Jody Wolf Exposed.